Chris Rock American comedian and actor Chris Rock born, February 7, 1965, age 58 years, Andrews, South Carolina, United States Chris Rock married, Malik Compton Rock M., 1996-2016 Chris Rock siblings, Tony Rock, Andre Rock, Jordan Rock, Andy Rock, Kenny Rock, Charles Rock, Brian Rock Chris Rock children, Lola Simone Rock, Zara Savannah Rock Chris Rock parents, Julius Rock, Rosalie Rock Chris Rock Notable Works and Roles, Filmography Chris Rock About Christopher Julius Rock is an American comedian, actor, and filmmaker. Rock first gained prominence for his stand-up routines in the 1980s, where he tackled subjects including race relations, human sexuality, and observational comedy. Chris Rock Net Worth Could have been over $100 million, but his ex-wife allegedly took his major fortune during divorce settlement. Chris Rock is one of the highest-paid comedians of all time. He's known to tackle serious subjects like race relations, infidelity, and sexuality via his stand-up acts. Chris Rock Early Life Rock was born in Andrews, South Carolina on February 7, 1965. Shortly after his birth, his parents moved to the Crown Heights neighborhood of Brooklyn, New York. A few years later, they relocated and settled in the working-class area of Bedford, Stuyvesant. His mother, Rosalie Nay Tingman, was a teacher and social worker for the mentally handicapped. His father, Julius Rock, was a truck driver and newspaper delivery man. Julius died in 1988 after ulcer surgery. Rock is the eldest of his parents' seven children, six boys and one girl, and he had an older paternal half-brother, Charles Liddell Rock, who died in 2006 after suffering from alcoholism. Rock's younger brothers Tony, Kenny, and Jordan are also in the entertainment business. Rock's family history was profiled on the PBS series African American Lives 2 in 2008. A DNA test showed that he is of Cameroonian descent, specifically from the Udim, Oldim, people of northern Cameroon. Rock's great-great-grandfather, Julius Caesar Tingman, was enslaved for 21 years before serving in the American Civil War as part of the United States Colored Troops. During the 1940s, Rock's paternal grandfather moved from South Carolina to New York City to become a taxicab driver and preacher. Rock was bused to schools in predominantly white neighborhoods of Brooklyn, where he endured bullying and beatings from white students. Point three, as he grew older, the bullying worsened and Rock's parents pulled him out of James Madison High School. He dropped out of high school altogether, but he later earned a general educational development GED. Rock then worked various jobs at fast food restaurants. Chris Rock Personal Life Rock married Malik Compton Rock on November 23, 1996. Compton Rock is the founder and executive director of Styleworks, a non-profit, full-service hair salon that provides free services for women leaving welfare and entering the workforce the couple lived in Alpine, New Jersey with their two daughters. In December 2014, Rock filed for divorce from Compton Rock. Rock admitted to infidelity in the marriage, as well as struggling with a pornography addiction. The divorce was finalized on August 22, 2016. In 2012, Rock settled a lawsuit alleging sexual abuse. Rock was not charged with a crime and has denied that the alleged rape ever occurred. The accuser said she wanted the court papers public so people, especially those in her native Hungary, would know her version of a story in which she is often portrayed as a gold digger. Rock has campaigned against the racial profiling of African Americans and often speaks of the everyday racism he experiences despite being famous. In a 2013 episode of Comedians in Cars Getting Coffee with Jerry Seinfeld, Rock and Seinfeld are pulled over by the police for speeding while Seinfeld was driving. In the episode Rock admits to Seinfeld that if you weren't here, I'd be scared. Yeah, I'm famous still black. In 2015, Rock was pulled over three times in the first three months of the year. Each time Rock posted a selfie of the incident, without further comment as to the reason for the stops or whether he was issued a citation. On August 20, 2019, Rock, along with several other celebrities, invested in a funding round for Lowell Herb Co., a California cannabis brand. He is known to be a dedicated cannabis consumer. On September 18, 2020, Rock said that he was diagnosed with a nonverbal learning disorder, a neurological condition that makes it difficult for him to understand nonverbal social cues. On September 19, 2021, Rock announced on Twitter that he had been tested positive for COVID-19. He strongly advocated getting vaccinated to his followers. Chris Rock Career 1984-1999, Saturday Night Live and Stand-Up 
Rock began working as a stand-up comic during 1984 in New York City's Catch a Rising Star. Upon seeing his act at a nightclub, Eddie Murphy befriended and mentored the aspiring comic. Murphy gave Rock his first film role and big break in Beverly Hills Cop 2, 1987. Rock rose up the ranks of the comedy circuit in addition to earning bit roles in the film I'm Gonna Get You Sucka, 1988, and the TV series Miami Vice. Rock was a cast member of the sketch comedy series Saturday Night Live from 1990 to 1993. He and other new cast members Chris Farley, Adam Sandler, Rob Schneider and David Spade became known as the bad boys of SNL. In 1991, he released his first comedy album, Born Suspect and won acclaim for his role as a crack addict in the film New Jack City. His tenure on SNL gave Rock national exposure. Rock has hosted SNL three times, in 1996, 2014 and 2020. With plans to leave Saturday Night Live after the 1992-93 season, Rock was effectively fired from the show. Beginning that fall, he appeared in six episodes of the predominantly African-American sketch show In Living Color as a special guest star. The show was cancelled a month after he arrived. Rock then wrote and starred in the low-budget comedy CB4, which made $18 million against its budget of $6 million. He signed on as client of Three Arts Entertainment. Rock headlined his first HBO comedy special in 1994, titled Big Ass Jokes, as part of HBO Comedy Half Hour. His second special, 1990 SIXS Bring the Pain, made Rock one of the most acclaimed and commercially successful comedians in the industry. Rock won two Emmy Awards for the special and gained large critical acclaim. A controversial part of the special was a niggas vs. black people. For his much-publicized role as a commentator for Comedy Central's Politically Incorrect during the 1996 presidential elections, he earned another Emmy nomination. Rock also was the voice for the Lil Penny puppet who was the alter ego to basketball star Penny Hardaway in a series of Nike shoe commercials from 1994 to 1998 and hosted the 97 MTV Video Music Awards. Rock's first music video was for his song Your Mother's Got a Big Head from his album Born Suspect. Rock also made videos for his songs Champagne from Roll with the New and No Sex in the Champagne Room from Bigger and Blacker. Rock later had two more HBO comedy specials, Bigger and Blacker in 1999 and Never Scared in 2004. Articles relating to both specials called Rock, the funniest man in America, in Time and Entertainment Weekly. HBO also aired his talk show, The Chris Rock Show, which gained critical acclaim for Rock's interviews with celebrities and politicians. The show won an Emmy for writing. His television work has won him a total of three Emmy Awards and 15 nominations. By the end of the decade, Rock was established as one of the preeminent stand-up comedians and comic minds of his generation. During this time, Rock also translated his comedy into print form in the book Rock This and released the Grammy Award-winning comedy albums Roll With The New, Bigger and Blacker and Never Scared. Rock's fifth HBO special, Kill the Messenger, premiered on September 27, 2008 and won him another Emmy for Outstanding Writing for a Variety or Music Program. It was not until the success of his stand-up act in the late 1990s that Rock began receiving leading man status in films. He began the decade with supporting roles in such films as New Jack City, 1991, as crack addict Pookie, in the Eddie Murphy comedy Boomerang, 1992, the Steve Martin comedy Sergeant Bilko, 1996, as well as Beverly Hills Ninja, 1997, and Lethal Weapon 4, 1998. He also appeared in the Kevin Smith fantasy comedy film Dogma, 1999. The film received positive reviews and premiered at the Cannes Film Festival. The film starred an ensemble cast with actors such as Ben Affleck, Matt Damon, Alan Rickman, Salma Hayek, and George Carlin. 